Hi. In this video, we're going to be adapting our Excel Markov cohort simulation to include a half cycle adjustment, namely the life table method. The reason we need to do this is because at the moment, we're assuming that people are spending the whole of each cycle in a particular state and then only transitioning right at the end, whereas it's more realistic to assume that they transition on average halfway through the state. So this is quite easy to do. The first thing that we're going to do is create um, some extra columns. So an easy way to do that would just be copy and paste. These columns are now going to have the life table method um, adjusted membership rather than the state membership, which was calculated from the transition probabilities. So to calculate uh, with the life table method, what we do is we take the average of one cycle and the next cycle. It's really just as simple as that. So 0.5 times the value on this row plus the value in the next row. Press enter. All done. OK. Right. So we can do this. Use that same formula for all of these. There we go. So as a good example, you can see in the dead state, initially we calculate that there's nobody in the first cycle is in the dead state. Whereas after adjusting using the life table method, we have a count of five because that's halfway between the zero and the 10 shown there. Okay, so now what we need to do is update our costs and qualities so that they are using the life table method instead of the state membership. Okay, so here we've got the costs for the healthy. I'm just going to move that across so that it's taking healthy from the life table method columns rather than the state membership. I'm going to do the same with the diseased. That needs to be moved across. Here the total doesn't need changing because that's only referring to the two columns next to it. So I've got these. I will fill those down and one of the things that I'm going to do is just clear out this final row here because if I tried to fill this down right to the bottom I'd have the problem it was trying to calculate the average with zero here so if you want to add another cycle that's fine so long as you know what you're doing in terms of the time horizon of your analysis but just for this example, I'm just leaving that last row off because otherwise I'd be taking the average with zero. OK, and now let's just double check that these are still doing what they're meant to do. So they're still taking the sum of all of these above. What we can do is just change that so that it's not including that blank row. It's not really a big deal. OK, and let's update the formulae on the qualities side because these are still pointing to the state membership and we need to move them over to the life table method. Just like that. Again, this one doesn't need updating. It's only pointing to those two. Control D to fill down. So now we have used the life table method to adjust for the fact that transitions don't occur right at the end of a cycle. On average, they're occurring midway.